Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about creating a path array. The first thing we're going to do is create the path. Let's activate the polyline command. First point, second point, right click, arc, right click, back to line, and press escape to exit the tool. Now the circle tool. We'll snap it somewhere here. And let's activate the path array command. First step is to select the object to pattern. I'll select my circle. Right click to finish the selection. Next we need to select the path. And here is our polar array. Here we can specify the spacing. Choose whether it's associative or not. And at this point, I'm going to click Close Array. To edit the array, just select it in the drawing area. Notice that the spacing option is currently available, but the other fields are grayed out. Let's make it six. Now the number of items is available. Let's change it to four. Press Tab. To space the arrays along a path, you also have some additional options. We can use the Measure or Divide method. The measure method is where you measure the distance between the items, and the divide method is where you use the length of the entire path divided by the number of items in your array. Let's take a look at the Align Items option. First, I'm going to edit the source of the array. Select an item in the array, click OK to confirm the edit. Now I'm going to use a rectangle and drop it about here. Something like this. Let's save my changes. And let's edit the array. Now I'll unselect the Align Items option, and we can see the effect of this tool. Let's close the array. And this concludes our tutorial about using the Path Array.